do our compost maturity standards and regulations give both the composter and the customer confidence that the compost is mature? Canadian regulation defines compost as a solid mature product resulting from composting. It assumes, but it does not define maturity. I prefer the Solvita test or the Dewar self-heating test for determining compost maturity. Even though they are defined as stability tests, they measure maturity when the compost is prepared correctly. They are used in regulations in some places. I like the Solvita test because it's fast and it includes detailed instructions which clearly explain how dry compost should be wetted and allowed to equilibrate to avoid stable but immature compost. I really like the Dewar self-heating test because it's intuitively obvious when a compost is immature, when the temperature goes up to 70 degrees Celsius in a small 2 liter container. The longer duration of the Dewar self-heating test also accounts for adjustments in the microbial community that the Solvita test may miss. The Solvita test, although, is more sensitive in determining fully mature compost than the Dewar test. The heart of a regulation is to put in writing what most of us should already know. Regulators seem to prefer third party or laboratory testing, thinking that it may be somehow less prone to error. We must accept that the lab doesn't always understand the context and that we as composters are ultimately responsible for the quality of our compost. I'm also thinking about small-scale composters or smaller remote communities where the cost of sending a sample to a laboratory for a maturity test may be an economic burden. Canada has great maturity or stability guidelines that include respiration tests such as oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide evolution. The carbon dioxide evolution test is excellent if the compost is prepared correctly. There is excellent correlation between carbon dioxide respiration test and the self-heating test. As we have seen in the last video, it's possible to get a false sense of satisfaction with one week old compost if they're too dry. It's more difficult to obtain false results with a self-heating test when we follow the instructions. Mature compost is more likely to meet fecal coliform limits which makes sense when we understand that fecal coliform reduction includes depleting the readily available carbon that the fecal coliform love. For those who understand that the compost process is a biological process which takes time, a Solvita test or a self-heating test are excellent and intuitive tests. A laboratory test such as carbon dioxide evolution test can then verify what we already understand. In the next video, I will outline a self-heating test that's very inexpensive and which I've found to be as accurate as the Dewar self-heating test. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.